Judges chapter 5. Then Deborah and Barak, the son of Abinor, sang on that day, saying, When the leaders in Israel take the lead, when the people willingly offer themselves, blessed be our way. Hear, O king, give ear, O princess, I, yes, I will sing to Yahweh, I will sing to Yahweh, father of Israel. O Yahweh, when you went out from Seir, when you marched from the land of Edom, the earth shook, the heavens poured, the clouds poured down water, the mountains quaked in front of Yahweh, the one of Sinai, in front of Yahweh, father of Israel. In the days of Shemgar, son of Anath, in the days of Yael, the highways were deserted, and the travelers walked along the byways. The warriors grew plump. In Israel they grew plump. Unto you, Deborah, rose up, rose up a mother in Israel. They chose new gods. Then they fought in the gates. Not a shield or a spear was seen among 40,000 in Israel. My heart was with the leaders of Israel, who offer themselves willingly with the people. Blessed be Yahweh. O riders of white she-donkeys, O you who sit on the judgment seat, O you who walk along the road, Listen to the sound of singers between watering places. They recite the righteous acts of Yahweh, the righteous acts of his warriors in Israel. Then the people of Yahweh went down to the city gate. Awake, awake, Deborah, awake, awake, sing a song. Rise up, Barak, take your prisoners, O son of Abinohan. Then the survivors came down to the nobles. The people of Yahweh came to me with the mighty. Some came from Ephraim, whose roots were in Amalek. Benjamin was with the people who followed you. From Makir, captains came down from Zebulun, those who carry a commander's scepter. Issachar's captains were with Deborah. Issachar was Barak's support, dispatched to the plain. Under his command, among the divisions of Reuben, there was great searching of heart. Why did you stay among the campfires, listening to the whistling for the flocks? In the districts of Reuben, there was much searching of heart. Galad stayed beyond the Jordan. Why did Dan remain on ships? Asher remained at the seashore and stayed on his coves. The people of Zebulun risked their very lives, their lives to the point of death. Naphtali also, on the heights of the battlefield. The kings came and fought. The kings of Canaan fought at Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. They carried off no silver, no plunder. From the heavens fought the stars. From their courses they fought against Sisera. The torrent of Kishon swept them away. That ancient torrent, torrent of Kishon. March on, my soul. Be strong. And the horses' hooves pounded, galloping, galloping of his steeds. Oh, curse, Merots, said the Malach of Yahweh. Cursed his people bitterly, because they did not come to help Yahweh, to help Yahweh against the mighty. Most blessed among women is Yael, the wife of Haber, the Kenite. Among women in tents, she is most blessed. Water he asked for, and she gave him milk. In a bowl fit for nobles, she brought him curdled milk. She stretched her hand to the tent peg, her right hand to the workman's hammer. She pounded Caesarea. She broke his head. She split and struck through his temple. At her feet, he sank. He fell. He lay still. At her feet, he sank. He fell. Where he sank, there he fell. Dead. The mother of Sisera peered through the window and cried out through the lattice, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why is the clatter of his chariots delayed? The wisest of her ladies answer her yes. She answers herself. Are they not finding anybody in the plunder? A girl or two for each man. Colorful garments and spoil for Sisera. Colorful garments embroidered. Highly embroidered garments for the neck of the spoiler. All these as plunder. In this way, may all your enemies perish, O Yahweh. But may they who love you be like the sun when it comes out in full strength. Then the land had peace for 40 years.